this question a uh, two kilogram uh, rock is released from rest at a height so says the 20 meter height uh, it's released from rest and uh, uh, we have to determine the gravitational potential and the total mechanical energy at each of the following heights so uh, it uh, let's call it at a then we have at b then we have at c so this is 10 meters so the total mechanical energy first off is going to remain the same because the energy is conserved so the total mechanical energy is uh, is always going to be same and it's same as let's say point a which is uh, equal to the potential energy uh, since the uh, it is released over here so potential energy is mgh at a so that's going to be equal to uh, 2 times 9.8 times 20 which is coming as 392 uh, joules so this is the total mechanical energy which will which is always going to be same uh, now at a we will talk about the gravitational potential so uh, potential energy is same as what we found over here and kinetic energy is zero because it is released uh, at C, it is very easy because the potential energy is zero because it is at the level ground and kinetic energy is uh, the whole energy is converted to the kinetic energy. So that's 392 joules. And at B, without any calculation, uh, we'll uh, smartly do this because we, we are at half the height. So the potential energy is also going to be half. So that's 392 over 2 which is coming as 196 joules and since the mechanical energy is same so the kinetic energy would take the other half which is 196 joule so that the sum is again 392 joules this is the final answer thank you